Hi, it's so good to see you. We are talking about losing weight over 40. So to give you some context, I'm 43. I also had a hysterectomy a year and a half ago. So I am very much experiencing a change in my body and a change in my ability to lose weight. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about why that happens and then what we can do about it over the age of 40. So one reason it becomes harder to lose weight over 40 is that we start to lose muscle mass as we age. Muscle burns more calories throughout the day than fat does. So as we lose muscle mass, that alone actually makes it harder for us to lose weight. We burn fewer calories during the day just because we are losing that muscle mass as we age. Second factor that has a big part in being unable to lose weight as easy as we get older is our hormones. So what happens as we age and we get into perimenopausal and then menopausal age, and they say perimenopausal can happen up to 10 years before we hit menopause. So really a lot of us are in that perimenopausal stage without even realizing it sometimes. So what happens is we can either have very high estrogen or very low estrogen. Both of those things can happen and it becomes harder to lose weight. What we do is we actually accumulate fat and usually they find it's fat around the belly. So we can increase our belly fat because of that hormone imbalance that happens as we get a little bit older. So the next thing that can lead to an inability to lose weight as easy as it used to be in our life is a lack of sleep. So studies show that we need good sleep, not only the length of sleep, but actually good quality sleep to help us lose weight. And as we know, if you're like me and you're getting older, as we age, that becomes harder for a myriad of reasons. It can be actually going through menopause and having hot flashes. It can be those hormone changes. It can be just the fact that we're getting up to go to the bathroom more. I have young kids at home, so that keeps me from getting good sleep. So we need to get good sleep in order to be able to lose weight. And then finally, stress really plays a big part in that. And it's not that we have more stress necessarily as we age, it's that we just have a harder time dealing with all of those factors because we also have the hormone issues going on and the lack of muscle mass going on. And so increased stress will increase our cortisol hormones, which again, then makes it harder to lose weight. So those factors are what really contribute to the fact that it just feels harder as we age. Like what I'm really finding is the strategies that worked for me 10 years ago don't work for me now. And they have surprised me, which is why I wanna share this with you because I'm really finding it in my own body. And I think we need to feel empowered instead of feeling defeated, okay? That's what I want for myself and that's what I want for you is that we find the strategies that work for us now in this amazing body that we have instead of feeling discouraged. So, so let's talk about what we can do about it. So one thing to look at is our diet. So meaning what we're eating during the day. If you look at the most plain thing people will tell you on paper is to lose weight, you need to burn more calories during the day than you consume. It's called a calorie deficit. So that is something that you can look at just very generally, make sure that you're moving, make sure you're burning more calories than you're taking in. But there's much more to it than that. I want you to look at what you're eating. Make sure it's very nutrient dense to feed your body right now especially protein, that's something I'm personally working on and the more I read into research is that we need protein, especially women as we age, to help with hormone regulation and to help keep that muscle mass. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Another thing to keep in mind is you actually don't wanna to consume too few calories either. If you consume too few calories, like maybe you used to in your early 20s, right? We could go into that, I'll just eat very little for a couple weeks, not that it was good for us, but we could. We would do it and we could lose some weight that way. It doesn't necessarily work that way as we get older. The fewer calories we eat, if we are constantly not eating enough, our metabolism will actually slow down because your body thinks that it's in fight or flight, that it's in starvation, and it's gonna hold on to that weight and that fat and not let it go. So that's something really important to keep in mind. Please do not starve yourself. You wanna feed yourself really nutritious, nutrient-dense foods, especially that protein to help with the muscle mass. So another thing that you can do after you look at what you're eating is make sure you're moving every day. Exercise is a huge component to helping our metabolism in two ways. 
one way you want to strength train during the week. So that can be your Pilates and your resistance bands and your weights and all of those fun things. You want to get strength training in during the week to build that muscle mass, which is going to help you build and burn calories throughout the day. And then you also want to be doing some cardio because they show in research that cardio is going to help us increase our metabolism over the next 24 hours when we get in 30 to 45 minutes of that cardio exercise. So make sure you're moving every day, okay? So we have looking at our diet. We have also making sure that we're moving and exercising in a regular routine. And then you also wanna look at your hormones. So that's a big thing that I had done. I worked with someone after my hysterectomy to check my hormones and I was astonished at how imbalanced they were, off the charts imbalanced. So I've been working over the past year to get those balanced, which has helped me feel so much better. So I highly recommend that you look into that as well. And there are some great practitioners to help you do that. You also wanna look at your sleep. How much sleep are you getting? Like I said, I know I am not getting enough right now. So make sure that you're getting good quality sleep and then check in with your stress as well. So I am filming this in early 2021. We know what's been going on in the world over the past year and a half. I know personally, I have been holding on to that stress for a long time. And it's not fair of me to really expect my body to act optimally when I'm holding on to a lot of tension and a lot of stress. So I am working on that as well as letting that go and realizing how much effect that's going to have on my body and my ability to bounce back, my ability to lose fat, lose weight, or simply feel my best. Okay. So things you can do, we'll recap, look at your diet and your hydration with that. Make sure you're drinking enough water, make sure you're exercising a combination of strength training and cardio. And if you're not sure how to put that together, I'll have a link below to my unlimited program. We do a lot of both of those things. Okay. So look at your movement and your exercise, make sure you're, that your hormones are balanced. See a practitioner for that. Make sure you're getting enough sleep and check in with your stress. All of those things combined are going to help you on this journey as we age. Don't compare yourself to where you were 10 years ago, 20 years ago. It is a new journey and I think it's one that we can embrace if we don't let ourselves get discouraged. So take care of what the things are that you can do, right? Feel empowered in those things and also realize it's more about how you feel than how you look. And I know that can be hard to let go of sometimes, I'm working on it too but truly it is. I've been at a place where I don't have my health and where I don't feel good. And now realizing some of these steps I've taken like to balance my hormones, they have me feeling so much better. So now how I look can follow that if I wanna work on it, but really how you feel is going to be the most important thing. So look at your energy levels, look at how you're feeling, look at your function, and then you can work on those next steps. So I, th I hope that helps you understand a little bit why our bodies change after the age of 40, why it can be harder to lose weight. It truly is. It is a medical fact that it can be more difficult, but it can be done. We just need to embrace these strategies, really embrace the body that we have now and move forward one day at a time. All right. I'll see you soon. Thanks so much for stopping by. Remember, subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified every time a new video comes up. Like and comment on this video and let me know what you thought. You can also always come over to jessicavalantpilates.com to find all the resources I have for living a healthy lifestyle, including full-length workout videos, healthy recipes, and a community I would love for you to be a part of. So I'll see you there.